Number one, how to use two apps at one time. I want to use YouTube at the top and I want to have Amazon open at the bottom of the screen. So here's how to do that. I'm going to swipe up and I'm going to go to the YouTube app. I'm going to open it, hit the home button, and now I'm going to open up Amazon and then hit the home button. Now I'm going to press the recent apps button in the bottom left corner of the screen. Some of you guys might be in the gesture mode. If you're in gesture mode, you're going to just swipe up and hold to bring up this menu. Now you're going to swipe over and tap on the YouTube icon and tap on split screen view. Then I'm going to swipe over, tap on uh, the Amazon app. And now I can have my YouTube video playing at the top of the screen. And at the bottom, I can be searching on Amazon for some last minute Christmas presents. So that's a super easy way to use two apps at one time. You can also take your phone and rotate it in the landscape position. Now you want to make sure that your screen rotation is not turned off. Also pay attention in the bottom right corner, there's a little icon that's going to pop up that you do have to press for the screen to rotate. But there we go. If I double tap on this white bar in the middle of the screen, it will switch and move whatever's on the left to the right. And when you're all done and you want to get out of the split screen, simply hold on the dash and drag to the right. And that'll take you out of split screen and back into full screen. Number two, how to create custom wallpapers using AI. You're going to hold down the home screen, tap on wallpaper and style. From here, you're going to go to more wallpapers, tap on AI wallpapers. First, you want to choose a theme. And for this, I'm going to make the theme texture. And then I can customize the theme using keywords. So tap on pink and I'm going to change it to green. And instead of sand, I'm going to change it to nylon. Let's tap create wallpaper. Give it a few seconds and it will come up with four custom wallpapers that you can use with your phone. This is one, two, three, and four. I think I want to go with number three. You can also tap on inspire me if you want to continue to play around with it until you get it just right. I'm going to go to the upper right corner, tap on the check, and that's going to save that wallpaper as my new background. You can also you can set it for just your home screen or you can set it for your home screen and your lock screen as well. Upper right corner, tap on set wallpaper, hit home screen and lock screen. And now we've just locked in our brand new uh, AI wallpaper. Number three, how to launch your camera from any screen no matter what's happening. If something noteworthy is happening and I wanna launch my camera, I can simply double tap on my power button and it'll automatically take me to the camera. Even if my phone is off and I have a password set on the phone, it doesn't matter. Double tap the power button, and it'll automatically launch the camera and allow me to take a picture or a video. Now number four, this is a really important one, how to launch the emergency mode. And the emergency mode, when it's triggered, it, you can have it call 911 and it will trigger a message to your emergency contacts telling you that you're in trouble. This is how you launch it. And then after I'll show you how to customize the settings of who it's gonna call and, and all the things that it will do. You're gonna tap the power button five times consecutively, just like this. It'll take you right to the emergency SOS function. And from here, you're gonna just tap and hold this for three seconds. And when you do that, by default, it's just gonna call 911. OK, but when you dial in the settings, you can have it do a lot more than just call 911. Let me show you how to do that now. So let's unlock the phone. I'm going to go to the settings and go to the safety and emergency section. Once you get to this screen, you want to go to each option and you want to just plug in the appropriate information. So starting with medical information, um, if you key in different medical information, let's say you were to faint, but before you fainted, you triggered the emergency mode. On the screen, it would show all this important information, your blood type, your height, your weight. You can have it specifically show allergies, uh, medical conditions, any medical notes that someone would need to know. For example, I'm allergic to penicillin. 
um, I can't have this or just had this type of surgery. This way, emergency medical personnel would know how to care for you properly. Now, this is the first setting. You'll want to go through each one of these and you'll want to just plug in the appropriate information so that once you trigger that emergency mode, it will do all the things for you. This next hidden feature is one of my favorites. Um, this is you can double tap on the back of your Pixel phone and you can launch the app of your choice or the action of your choice. Go to settings. We're going to go down to system and then gestures and then go to quick tap to start actions. First, you wanna turn on the feature and then here it will give you a list of actions that you can program to launch when you tap on the back of the screen or the back of the phone twice. I like to have the flashlight set for this, so toggle flashlight and watch this. I'm gonna hit the home button and if I tap on the back of the, the phone twice, it's gonna automatically launch my flashlight. See that? All right, so the other cool thing is you can program it to just launch the app of your choice. Maybe you're like addicted to TikTok and you want TikTok to be the app. You can come in here, so go to the bottom and select open app, hit the settings wheel, and then pick the app you want to launch whenever you do that gesture. And then it will always launch that just by tapping the back of the screen twice. Now, hey, if you learned something cool so far from this video, stop and bump that like button down below. It doesn't cost you anything but one second, one action, and it helps this video to get shared to a lot more people. So please, as a thank you, do that for me, please. Okay, next, I wanna show you how to enable the one-handed mode. This phone is a bit big, and so it can be a little hard to reach the top of the screen with one hand. So let's turn on one-handed mode. We're gonna tap on the settings wheel, and we're gonna back out of this. We're gonna go back to gestures and go to one-handed mode. We're gonna swipe down and go to one-handed mode shortcut. And it's gonna put this little notch here on the side of your phone. And now when you're holding your phone, if you ever wanna go down to the one-handed mode, simply tap on that little icon and it will shrink the phone down and make it easier for you to reach things. And then tap it again to get out of it. You can also hold and drag this to different parts of the screen or drag it to the other side of the screen. Just long press and then move it. And that's your little one-handed mode, little notch. Okay, next I wanna show you how to scan text into your phone with this trick. We're gonna swipe up and open up the camera. I'm gonna take a picture of this box here. Okay. Once you take your picture, tap on the icon to the left of the shutter button. Here's my picture, and I wanna scan all the text on the back of this box. I'm gonna tap on the lens button. Press okay. And then I'm gonna tap on select text. It's gonna highlight all the text that's on the back of this box here. And I can press this copy button right up here. And it's just copied all the text on the back of my box. Let's hit the home button now and let's swipe up. I'm gonna to go to my Google Keep app, which is the best app for taking notes. If you don't have it, Google Keep is the name. Tap on the plus in the bottom right corner and go to text. And now I can long press to bring up this menu and paste all the text that was on the back of that box. So that's a super easy trick if you're just trying to copy text off of anything into your phone. Great for you students. You can copy a section in a textbook and paste it right into your notes to make it easier for you to study it later. Okay, next let's go into the camera again. There's some really cool things they've added to the camera. And one specific thing is a feature called Add Me. We're gonna go to the camera icon first and then go to Add Me. And with this feature, Watch this little preview. You can basically take a picture of someone, hold the phone in the same spot, have that person walk over, hold the phone, and then the person who took the picture first, have them walk right into that same section, but right next to where that person was standing. And then you, you can have them take a picture and it will stitch those two pictures together to make one cohesive picture. You never have to worry about asking a stranger to take a picture for you. Just use add me and you can add anyone you want to your photo just like that. 
super cool. It's very hard for me to demonstrate that in my studio, so I just showed the visual of what it looked like. Um, play around with it. It's a really fun feature and it's such a game changer. I think they're the only phone right now who has this feature. So definitely take advantage of that cool feature. Okay, this next tip is for those of you guys who get a little wrapped up into your phone and often have trouble detaching from your phone to get work done. You'll wanna use this next feature. This is called the focus mode. You're gonna swipe down from the top of the screen, swipe down again, and you're going to tap on this little pencil and you're gonna swipe up and look for focus mode. Here it is, long press. And you're gonna drag it up, 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 and just drag it, drop it somewhere at the top of the screen here. Okay, let's hit the back button here. We're gonna swipe over. Now here's our focus mode. Now when you turn on the focus mode, you can tell your phone, hey, I want to disable distracting apps so I can focus. And so what it's gonna do is, it's going to hide notifications from those apps so that you can focus and get work done. So for example, I can come down this list here and I can say, hey, you know, for the next hour, I'm gonna turn on focus mode and I don't wanna get any text messages. Uh, I wanna add TikTok in there as well. I wanna add YouTube, I don't want notifications about new videos. You can add your Instagram messages as well. And these are now labeled as distracting apps. I'm gonna hit turn on now. And you can always even set a schedule. You can say, hey, from nine to 12, I want these apps to be disabled in terms of notifications so I can focus on work. Now I'm gonna hit the home button and I wanna show you what this looks like. If you notice, the TikTok app is blurred out, YouTube is blurred out, and my, my messaging app is blurred out. If I try to go there, it's not gonna let me go to it. It says messages and other distracting apps are paused right now. You do have an option to say use app for five minutes. You can press okay. It will enable that app to be used just for five minutes. Oh, sorry. So you do need to tap where it says use for five minutes. And then after that, it'll re-disable it again and let you go back to focusing. So this is a great feature in terms of productivity. Phones can be very addicting and hard to detach from. This is an easy way to detach from them. Now our last tip is gonna be how to launch your new AI assistant, which is called Gemini. By holding down on the power button for one second, it will launch Gemini. Gemini, can you help me write a Merry Christmas post to my friends and family? I wanna play it on Facebook and let them know how much I love them. So pretty cool. It wrote three different posts and you can always tap on the microphone to even uh, give it notes. Oh, I like this, but can you add uh, this person's name or can you add a line about um, how I, this has been a hard year, but my family is amazing. You tap the microphone, you can ask it to make adjustments and it'll do that for you as well. So that is your new AI assistant that's built in. And uh, right now only Pixel phones have that. So definitely make the most of having that as a built-in feature. All right, guys, this brings us to the end of our video. I hope you did find this helpful. If it was, bump that like button down below. If you're not already a subscriber, hit that subscribe button and leave me a comment down below and let me know what tip was your favorite or most helpful. I always love to hear those comments in the comment section down below. It helps to inform uh, when I make future videos to know what tips people like the best. So definitely drop those down below. Thanks again for watching. Here I'm gonna link a playlist to my other Pixel 9 videos. So check out that playlist here. You'll also find another really helpful video right here as well. So check those out. Thanks again for watching. Take care and as always, have a good one.